Okay, let's get going. So we're going to do a nice little combo of band and pure Pilates. We're going to start with our warm up, rolling the shoulders. We're going to do the pure Pilates stuff to start, getting a nice little part of our warm up and stretch, and then we're going to go into the band where we do lots of butt stuff. Rolling the shoulders. That's it. Taking those arms out to the side, loosening off the rotator cuff. Here we go, breathing out. Good job. And then big circles. I feel like I've forgotten something because there's no noise upstairs. <laughs> I'm like, oh, something's missing and I think it's the noise. I'm so excited. All right, let's go for a few roll downs. Standing up nice and tall, taking a good deep breath in. And breathing out, chin down into your chest, tummy pulled in, soften the knees, curling down one vertebra at a time. Good, and on a breath out, curling up. Rolling up one vertebra at a time, shoulder blades down and back, and head comes up last. Good, when you come up, make sure you open up your hands just to, that's it. Let's go for two more, breathing in, and out. Tummy pulled in, curling down, all the way, rolling down to the floor, and breathing out, curling up, stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other. Nice. And let's go for one more, breathing in, and out. We're going to hold it down there at the bottom. Good, let's just swing side to side like a rag doll, stretching out that back. Relax the head, relax the arms. From here, hands on the floor, you're gonna drop your hips down into that force cuff, a nice deep squat right down. Keep your heels down if you can. That's it, hands on the floor, lift up the hips. We're gonna go for five, dropping that bottom down. As you drop the bottom, your head comes up, and it's like a seesaw as you lift up your head goes down. Breathing out all the way, nice. There we go, tap it down, one more. All the way. Very nice. All right, coming onto your mat, we're gonna go into roll-up. So part of our warm-up, lying on your back, arms out stretched. Legs together, squeeze those inner lip thighs together, tilt your tailbone, and let's go. Breathing in, arms and head up, breathing out as you're rolling up through that spine. Oh, I spoke too soon, the noise is back. And reach. Good, sitting up nice and tall, slide those shoulders away from the ears, and then curl down. Control that roll down, don't flop down. Nice, we're going for five, breathing in. And out. Curling up, beautiful. Get that stretch forward. And then sitting up tall, shoulders down. And curl down, tuck under. Think of tilting that coccyx to your nose the whole way. Go down slowly, beautiful. That's it, perfect. Three more like that. Squeeze those inner thighs as you're coming up. Reaching forward, stretch. Sitting up tall, slide the shoulders, and curling down, tuck that tummy in. Beautiful. Breathing in. So we're really using this also as like a warm up, loosening up through the spine, shoulders down and back, and curling down. Tummy pulled in, we've got one more. So we're going for five, I think this is my last one. That's it, and <laughs> curling down. That's very sweet little kitten behind your back. All right, coming up into sitting. We're gonna do our sitting with rotation. So if you can sit with your legs out straight, that's perfect. You wanna make sure you're sitting on those sit bones. So if you find that your back is round a little bit, bend your knees so you can think of tilting that pelvis forward. And from here, arms out in front of you, squeeze your inner thighs. You're gonna slide that arm down, twist. Make sure your feet stay together. And coming back. 
breathing out. That's it. So as you're taking that hand back, you want to think of pushing this hip forward so your feet don't slide. And forward, using those abs. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for five more. Shoulders down and back. That's it. Make sure you're sitting right up tall. Get that twist in the spine from your obliques. Good job. Squeeze. Last one. Very nice. Coming onto your back. You're going to stretch that one leg up to the ceiling. We're going to do our big hip circles now. So I'm going to show you sort of from this angle. We're going to have your arms out to the side. You're going to breathe in. Take that leg all the way across. Lift up the hip. Tummy pulled in, breathing out. Take this leg all the way around. Make sure not to lift this hip up. That's it. Let's go for eight. Breathing in. Tummy pulled in. Very good. Breathing in as you take it across. Scooping in those abs the whole time. Control it here from your hip bone. Beautiful. Four more. Three, using those abs. Two. Make sure you're using your breath. Last one. Beautiful. Hug that knee into your chest just to give it a little rest. Nice. Let's change legs. Arms out to the side. Leg up to the ceiling, let's go breathing in across, breathing out, tummy pull in, don't let that opposite hip lift. Nice, shoulders stay on the floor, tummy pull in. Keep that opposite, so I've got my left leg up, so my right hip here has to really work. Bend your knee if you need, three more. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Hugging that knee into the chest. Have a good stretch. Lovely. Both knees in. Roll yourself up into sitting. We're going to come and stand up. Okay. Have a sip of water if you need. So we're going to go into a nice long lunge from here. Right leg in front, left leg behind. Make sure your knee is over your ankle here. So you've got your weight forward and then bending slightly forward so your body's in a straight line. We're going to take those palms up to the ceiling, squeeze those shoulders together, spread your fingers. We're going to push and then breathing and slide the shoulder blades back as your thumbs come to the ceiling. That's it. Really work from the shoulder blades. Squeeze. Tummy pull in. That's it. Squeeze and push. Slide the shoulders down for four more. Three. Two. That's it. One. Now we're going to add to this. This arms stay the same. We're going to take the arms up. And then we're going to reach back, lift that foot, shoulders down and back. Step into that nice long lunge, hands go up. That's it, let's go for eight. So squeeze, arms up here, push back. Pull that belly button in, slide those shoulders down and back. Very nice, three, tummy in, control. Beautiful. For four more. Squeeze those shoulders. Three. Really working that front glute. Two. Last one. Tummy in. Control it. And stepping up when you finish your eight. Nice. Shaking it out. Okay. Other side, nice long lunge, knee over your ankle, 
From here, we're going to pulse those hands up to the ceiling. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down the back, squeeze them. Spread the fingers, let's pulse. <sighs> Pushing back. You want to squeeze from your shoulder blades. That's it, for five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to take the arms up and then come forward, push those hands back, leaning forward. We're going for eight. That's it. Breathing in, breathing out. Control those shoulders. Tummy pulled in. Four. Nice. Three. That's it. Got two more. Shoulders down and back. Pull that tummy in. Find a spot to focus on. And coming up. Very nice. Right, okay, let's go on to the floor. We're going to grab your bands. I'm going to put the band above your knees. We're going to go into our glute series. So, placing the band above the knees. And come and lie on your side. That's it. So we're going to line your side, have your, I'm just going to move my band a little higher up. Okay, knees bent 90 degrees in front, hips 90, so we've got a nice angle. Tummy pulled in, make sure your waist, your hip bones are in line with each other so you're not hitching at the hip. Breathing up, tummy in, we're going to go for 20 fire hydrants. Tummy pulled in, that's it. Making sure this hip stay facing forward. Don't let them roll back. Tummy pulled in. Very good. And squeeze. Nice work. Ten more. Tummy engage. With this, still keep your shoulders away from the ears. Five. Four. Three, try and keep that knee and foot in one line. Two, one. Very nice. Now from here, we're gonna go into our clam stinger for 15, if we can. Let's go, open, extend, toes, close. Keep those hips facing forward. Abs pulled in. Oh, this is burning already. <laughs> if you need to take your band off, you can. Let's go for 10 and see how we go. That's it. Five more. Oh my goodness, I'm cramping already. Three. We need to do this more. Breathing in. Stretch that leg. Two more. Last one, and then we're going to do five more, but have a little stretch. We've got to get to that 15. I need a rest. <laughs> So, I hope you feel the same. Okay, let's go for five more. We can do this. Okay, let's go. One. Tummy pulled in. Control. Two. Keep those hips facing forward. Three. Four. Four. Last one. Five. Goodness gracious. Okay. Now we're going to do ten of the internal external rotation. So, knee to knee. Toe to toe for 10. Let's go. One. Keep your hips facing forward. Two. Three. Just think of rotating that hip. Four. Five. Six. That's it. Eight. Oh. Nine. Ten. Goodness. Well done. All right. Take the band off temporarily. We're going to go into some abs. Before we do the other side, just to give our butt a little bit of a rest. Lie down on the floor. We're going to go into our little ab combo with the obliques. So we're going to go for 10 hands behind the head, 10 twisting to the knee. Then we're going to do our little straight leg with this, leg swap with this twisting. And then we're going to do 10 oblique twists. 
and then the other side, where we get a break between. Hands behind your head, tummy pulled in, tilt that tailbone, breathing out, lift your chin onto your chest. Let's go, twist, one, same leg. Breathing out as you twist. Three, shoulder to knee. Four, five, that's it. Seven, eight, really twist. Ten, now holding it there, you're gonna crunch into the middle, stretch that leg out, and then twist as you tap. Nice. Tummy pull in, low back, glued to the floor. Keep your crunch. For five, four, three, tummy engaged. Two, one. Now let's go to opening twist for ten, nine, six, five, four, two, one, and relax it all down. Stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs. Phew, that really burns. I love that little combo. And you feel quite nice and low down. All right, we're going to go to the other side. You can stay facing that way if you want, or you can turn yourself around. Let's get ready to go. Hands behind the head. Tummy pulling, breathing out, tucking your chin onto your chest. Let's go. Ten to the one leg. Breathing out. That's it. Squeeze. Four more, three, two, one. Very nice. Now we're going to go into our combo. Stretch, twist, two, three. Tummy pulled in. Four. Don't forget that coccyx. Five, six, eight, nine, ten. Only twist for ten. One. Two, five, six, twist, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Stretch it out. And this just feels comfortable. We'll just hold this for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. Alas. Well, not alas. We do love what we do. Okay, band back onto your knees. We're at the end of your fatigue. Okay, coming onto your legs. We're gonna put that band just above your knees. We're gonna go into our fire hydrant step clam stinger. And internal external rotation. Okay, making sure you've changed sides. Okay, other side, hips, knees, 90 degrees. Tummy pulled in, fire hydrant for 20. Let's go. Breathing out. Make sure your hips are facing forward. And squeeze. So we're really working that butt. That's it, we've got 10 more. Breathe out, every breath, pull your tummy in deeper. Five, six, try and keep your knee and your foot in the same line. Seven, eight, that's it. Nine, ten, nice work. So that's 20. Now we're going to go into our clam stinger. We're going to do ten and then five. Tummy pulled in, let's go. Making sure those hips stay facing forward. Don't let them roll back. Woo! Squeeze. Very nice. Seven. Lift that knee, eight, nine, burning, ten, Whew, have a little break, we have five more, okay let's go, feet up, let's go, last five, one, two, keep that belly button pulled in, always think about that, hips facing forward, three, four, Last one. Well done. Goodness. Okay, last 10. Knee to knee, toe to toe. So let's go. One, 
Make sure you really open those knees. Beautiful. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Oh, I did that so quickly so I could get those over with. <laughs> okay, very nice. A little bit more abs. Take the band off. We're going to do some upper body just now with the band. Okay, we're going to do one minute of bicycling. So, lying on your back, legs up to the ceiling. Every time you go through that bicycle, you want to go through that single leg stretch. So, you're stretching those legs out. Let's go. Keep your coccyx pulled in towards your nose. Back glued to the floor, stretching those legs out. That's it. Make sure you don't let the back arch, tummy in. Very nice. Controlling with those abs. 20 seconds done. Rock that coccyx towards your nose. Pull your abs in towards the floor. 30 seconds. Beautiful, stretch. Low back glute, we've got 15 seconds to go. Breathing out, pulling that tummy in deeper. For five, three, two, one, and relax. Hug those knees in. Very nice, all right. We're going to take your lighter band, we're going to lie on our tummy, we're going to do similar to the skydiver with our, on our stomach, but you're going to put the band around your hands and we're going to pull the band in and out. So from here, we're going to have the band sort of in front of our head here, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in, we're going to stretch it away, breathing out. So you want to think of tilting that coccyx into the floor. Pull the band apart, lift up the head and the arms, tummy pulled in though, don't knock the back, let's go. Pull the band apart as you squeeze those elbows in. Three, four, pulling those abs away, don't arch your back. Five, shoulder blades together. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Very nice. Coming into a child's pose, have a little stretch for your back. Then we're going to come up into standing. Nice. So from here, we're going to keep the band around the hands like they were. And we're going to stand on one leg. So you have a band here around your hands, pulling it open. Shoulders down and back, elbows in. So from here, we're gonna reach forward and coming back. When you reach forward, make sure that your hands stay pulled apart and shoulders are down. So we're actually working those shoulders way more than anything else. Let me redo my hair. Tummy pulled in, shoulder blades away from the ears. Let's get ready to go. 10 on one side. 10 on the other. Try and keep this other leg off the floor the whole time. So pull the hands apart, stretch. Tummy pulled in. Breathing in and out. Keep those hands apart. Shoulders down and back. That's it, nice. Tummy pulled in, lifting up out of that hip. Very good. Pushing those hands apart. Don't let them come together. Reach. We've got three more. Stretch. Two. Ooh, losing my balance. Last one. Very nice. Rolling those shoulders. Very good. Okay, we're going to do a little tricep. Taking the band on your hand, you're going to place the band on your opposite shoulder. Stand with your feet at distance apart, bending slightly forward. 
So from here, we're going to keep the elbow here, we're going to kick back. Tummy pull in, shoulders squeeze together. Let's go for 15. Now when you're here, don't let that wrist go soft. You want to keep it in line with your forearm. Tummy pull in away from the floor, away from the heels. Squeeze those shoulders down and back and the elbow stays dead still. I mean the upper arm, the elbow is the only thing that bends. Get that arm straight, tummy pulled in. Let's go for five, four, three, nice work. Two, one, and coming up, very nice. Let's change sides. So hand on the opposite, band on the opposite hand. Opposite shoulder, putting that hand holding into the band, tummy pulled in, send those hips back. Shoulders squeeze together, elbow up. Let's go. Every time you breathe out, I want you to pull that tummy in deeper. That's it, shoulders back together, tummy pulled in. We're going for 15. Weight to the heels. Three. Lift your chest, last one. Very nice. All right, now we're going to do the other leg. So from here, which one? I did that one, so let's do this one. Okay. Push the hands away from each other. Make sure you're doing your opposite leg. Standing up nice and tall. Let's go for 10. You're going to reach. And knee up. <laughs> So the idea is to try and balance. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Three. As you lift that knee up in front of you, put your abs in even deeper. Nice work. Stretch. Pressure on the hands the whole way. Goodness gracious, I'm all over the show. Three more. Reach and stretch. Two. Last one. Very nice. I'm just laughing at my incredibly poor balance. All right, coming onto your hands and knees. We're going to use the band to row. So you're going to have the band around your hand, and I'm putting it sort of on the floor so I can hold it. So I'm steadying it with my one hand flat. If you want, you can actually just, I know what that's easy. You can just have your band flat on the floor, place your hand on the one end. The other end we're going to row with, but what we're going to do from here is we're going to lift up the opposite leg. Tummy pulled in. And from here we're going to pull. Shoulders down and back, rowing. That's it, let's go for 10. Keep those shoulders down and back, elbow braces the ribs. That's it. Breathing out as you lift for five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Changing sides. So what I'm doing is actually just placing the band on the mat, putting my hands solidly on the one end, and then I can pull. So from here, shoulders down the back, stretch that leg out, let's go. Breathing out. Keep those abs engaged. Good. Five. Four, lift that leg, stretch it away. Three. Two. One, and coming down, very nice. Let's pop the band on your feet. We're going to our slow mountain climber. Okay, so band around the feet, having a quick sip of water. Oops, lost my band. Coming onto your hand, make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders. Shoulders down and back, tummy pull in, stepping those legs back. Let's go for 20. 
down, knees open and close, 45 seconds coming up and down, 45 seconds staying up, pushing those knees open and close, okay, so we're doing no breaks, 45, 45, 45, tummy connected, let's get ready to go, in 5 seconds just so my mass is easy, 3, 2, 1, Tummy pulled in, slow and controlled, pushing those knees open and close. You want to tilt that coccyx to your nose, breathing out. What's the thing of sliding those rib, that rib cage down? Pushing the band open and close. Tummy pulled in. Nice, we've got 20 seconds and we're going to go up and down, but keep that pressure on the knees. 15. 15. That's it. So we're going to go straight into the next one, which is curling up and curling down. In five, three, two, one. Now let's curl straight up, pushing through those heels and curling down. Have a little bit of pressure on those knees. Keep them a little bit open. So this is almost like a little active rest. Push through those heels, tilting that pelvis, squeeze the bum. That's it. Curling down. Breathing in. Breathing out. We've got 15 seconds. Get that squeeze. Keep those abs engaged the whole time. That's it. Five seconds. Then we're going to hold it up there. Reconnect that tilt. Knees open and close. Let's go. Tilting that pelvis. Open and close. Breathing out. Keep that tummy engaged. That's it. Really scooping in those abs. Open and close those knees. As you bring the band together, do it slowly so you're working those muscles. Tummy pull in. 20 seconds to go. That's it. 15, nearly there. Beautiful. Four, five, three, two, one, and curling it down. Well done. Hug those knees into your chest. Right, we're going to go for one more ab with the knees here. Band stays on the knees. We're going to go into our leg swaps. So, really make sure your knees are over your Hips, if anyone doing the recording wants to pull them in closer they can, especially if you have any back issues. Otherwise, from here, coccyx tilted, let's go. Push against the band, really work from the hip. Your knee angle stays the same. Push against the band from your thigh. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Pull the coccyx towards your nose, low back glue to the floor. For five, three, two, one, and hugging those knees into your chest. Very nice. Let's take the band off. Nice. From here, we're going to go into 
R-O-B, twist with a roll. So we need to, we've done this when we do three. We go one, two, three. We roll onto our side, facing you. Use that elbow and then coming back. When you come back, your legs must be in the same shape. So as you roll, you keep that sort of banana shape. Use your obliques. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Roll to the side. Coming back. One, two, three. Stretch. We're using these obliques to pull you back. Keep the shape. That's it. And back. We're going for 10. Do this in your own time. Use your obliques. Five. Breathing in. Breathing out. Nice work. Whew. Four more. Then we're done. Three. Tummy pulled in the whole time. Use those abs to pull you back. Last two. Ooh, that's it. Those obliques are firing. One, two, three. Roll. And back. And relax it down. Well done. Phew. Very good. That was a nice, intense kind of slow and controlled. I like that. My abs are burning. Yeah. All right. Pull that left knee into your chest. Let's have a little stretch and take it across, stretching out your low back. You want to try and keep that knee down, shoulders down. Very nice. Breathing out, get a little bit more range. Good. Coming back into the middle, hug both knees into your chest. Keep that right knee in, stretch your left leg out, and pulling it across. Woo. That's a nice click. Very nice, breathing out. Coming back into the middle, and rolling up into sitting. Thank you so much, thanks Vanessa, that was amazing. I hope they gave you what you needed.